For the second year in a row, Marquette has faced the number one team in the nation. Last year it was Duke, this year it's Big East rival Syracuse. But the tale was not the same this year for the Golden Eagles. They came back from a 23-point deficit, only to lose in the final two minutes, 73-66. Coach Buzz Williams said his team needs to remember that basketball is a 40-minute game, not just 20. Uh, what we have to figure out is how to fight for 40 minutes. And then within that fight, we have to play the way that we practice and the way that we're designed and the way that we were recruited and built to play. And I think when we do that, I think we're pretty good. And when we don't do that, we'll lose at home and on the road and against the Big East team. And, against the non Big East team. The Golden Eagles were down 37 to 19 at the half, but Syracuse coach Jim Beheim thought that Junior Cadogan was the difference maker in the second half. I thought Cadogan really hurt us. Cadogan was the guy that got in the lane and kept making plays. He had, I think, all of his points in the second half, if not close, and most of his assists, if not all. I just think he kept getting in the lane and making plays. I thought Junior was a really good point guard in the second half. Um, but I, I, again, you can't put it all on the quarterback if you win or lose, and I'm not putting it all on Junior. But I thought his mentality in the second half was much better. Darius Johnson Odom also thought that Kadugan was key for Marquette tonight. He has to be an aggressive point guard. Uh, he can make plays, and when he plays like that, everybody feeds off that because he's our point guard. Uh, he makes the, he makes the plays, he, he makes the assists, so I think Junior is going to be a good player for us. Bayheim also had high praise for DJO and Jay Crowder. They're both tremendous players. Um, they're as good size, you know, for their size, they're as good as anybody in the league. I mean, they play big, they play tough, they're tough guys, they rebound, they defend. Uh, you know, they're both tremendous players. The Golden Eagles head back to Milwaukee now and will face St. John's on Wednesday, which is also Al's night. From the Carrier Dome, Tess Quinlan. MUTV Sports.